This video is about 25th February 2004 edition of Scratch. So as you can see it has a significant layout changes and moving towards 0.2. Further it has an AMS to default project that you can view and also furthermore there is also layout change to this and you can see a, a template for a sprite area which it is not developed yet so anyways let's shift click over here build screen on okay so also now there's also thing called an image filter dll which is uh, dealing with this new blocks over here i guess if you deleted this dll you, you cannot see this block so you need the dll with the image and so let's uh, look from the top to bottom as your usual way so you can see the whole menu is kind of stay same only not much changes I guess and yeah you gotta stop it's a usual thingy but no flag you have to introduce yourself and yeah so now I guess we have to look down into the block palettes which is mean moon from right to left comparing to the previous version which is the 20, I mean what February I don't know some February version before this thing I guess it's 15 February I don't know it's developed quite fast this thing or maybe just lay out it again quite quickly so first one is the controls tab so as you can see the controls tab you can see the wave flag color which is a block which was there was been removed and it's replaced with an uh, until message received you can see the message itself is colored thingy and also send this thing to all that's also a thingy anyways this thing maybe is quite you can see quite annoying right maybe it's a small bug so let's just reopen this thingy just so that we could review it more better without these kind of bugs yeah, as you can see this has some color flags inside of it if you want to choose it and send it it's kind of uh, similar to the broadcast and receive in the scratch which we have now Okay, so you go to the max category, okay no changes. Yeah, go to the mouse category, okay that also has no changes. Most I mean mouse and keyboard I guess. Yeah. And then this is the motion category. So as you can see motion category has a uh, pen size block over here, which is quite new, but of course the pen size feature is already there, the variables or uh, variables tag, but let's see it later. And also that's one layering feature as usual, which we got now, but this is not supposed to be in mo motion, but anyway. When they introduce it to it was in motion you can just change its layers if you want come to front layer back layer and you can also check for this thing okay this thing is sensing i guess yeah and i think it has no changes yeah there are four, block, four blocks only and yeah this thing is from the it's called as hex filter category it takes the block from the dll i guess as i told already and yeah as you can see we can demonstrate it very easily because they already made this program possible Maybe I forgot to turn the full screen on. Okay. So as you can see, it's got some quite filters like world, shift hue. Of course, these things are gonna be moved to the look category eventually. I guess. For now, I guess the look category is never there. Maybe maybe after they add the costume tab, they'll add it to the looks category. Okay. So let's just reset this thingy. Okay, you can see the shift hue, shift brightness, blur. I don't know if blur works. Let's see if it works. Okay, we cannot click it. Let's remove this thing and just modify this button. Oh, it's working! Amazing. This filter reset. Let's place that into that thingy so that it won't. I don't know. It's reset. Of course, you can stamp block before it. You have to throw on block. I forgot that throwing is still not possible. I'll delete that. I drag it back so it's resetted. Of course, there's a world effect which you can see in the shift hue and shift brightness. Okay, let's just keep on going to the next thingy. Variables, you can see that default variables is almost the same. Not much features. Let's create a variable simply just in case there are some changes. This just keeps on thingy. If I drag it here, it's like a reporter. Drag it over here, changes to an I don't know, I don't know what they call that, I forgot it. I think it's some canvas reporter or something, I forgot its name. Change to slider. And it's better delete it for now. 
was how we get it but i think one block was missing wait let me think yeah pen size pen size used to be here but now they have been changed into a block and then yeah usual script script area where this is where you see all the scripts that you created of course you can create a script from the of course this is a script area it's almost similar to the new kind of interface which we have now i guess in 1.4 but yeah without the costumes and the sounds tab yet but it will be eventually added as usual the coding on the script uh, coding on the script area is uh, kind of same and uh, we just create some yeah like in the script at event hats are still same thing only change this back you see that the script thing will be added yeah and also of course you can create a button this th these things are the same thing just i'm just remaking i mean like what you know like you could say re-reviewing it or something just just for the entertainment i guess I, I forgot some things because it's been a long time right it's not like i'm making it every day so yeah yeah you can see it's working like that and mm, okay the I guess the input editing these uh, pictures are still the same. You have to right click on the canvas on the image you want. And of course, if you want to switch the sprite, you can like right click this thing, view blocks. Not really view blocks, but because if you view the blocks and drag this thingy, let's see how it changes. You can of course see one uh, distinct feature of this thingy. You can move other sprites using using the same sprite. This is what I like it, uh, like kind of like it, but yeah okay this feature has been removed from scratch somehow but this is not the new feature which is added I'm just re-reviewing it as I told you already yeah let's view script also it's nothing literally I guess it's okay nothing and uh, mm, I guess yeah that's all I can say about this version thank you guys for watching till the end and I hope to see you guys in the next video and of course yeah merry christmas in case i don't make one more video <laughs> i'm just saying this before i'm going